We're changing the, the registers. We're going to put in these 950s. Get some good airflow. But we're also sealing up with tape. We got a spot there to get. We did that one already. Here's our um, plug in my drop light. This is our our four ton it's actually got a five ton furnace and coil to get the 16 here on a four ton try to get some light over here you see our transition that we made Let's see it from the angle so that way it transitions in a lot of guys are just bump it up there and blink it off. I don't like that. I like airflow to be less as as less restrictive as possible. Our liquid line dryer, our copper our lines, our new flex. two legs run the total length front to back and then underneath the pan we got four legs down there 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 and at the end to keep it level no sags we got our constant trap for the heater uh, for the condensing furnace we got it going downhill then goes out the back and it ties into the primary on the other side of the, the, the unit over there but looking good just need to vacuum up some of these plastic pieces the owner's manual manual and here's the other one for the other unit okay I got it uh, I got it all done make sure the caps are on tight with the wrench got rid of the plastic caps and put brass you see that um, and put the plant back. There we go. Let me show you this one. Do the same. Put brass. Hold up better. Get a picture of that. Here's the three ton. 90 plus. Make sure that's right. It's dropping down. Low, low heat. 